Hey friends, now my Allure Beauty Box has arrived for December 2024. We already have the spoilers out there on what's going to be inside, but now we're going to unbox and see everything in person. So if that interests you, stick around and we're going to dive right on into this box. All right, friends, welcome. I'm Cher. If you're new here, do a lot of beauty boxes and I love Allure and I cover the spoilers, unboxings like this, try-ons and review reviews on a lot of the popular ones. Allure is one of my top favorites and I do already know what's inside because like I said, I already did the spoilers on them. So we're going to go ahead and open it. Here is what it's looking like when you first open it. The red paper for the holidays, quite appropriate. And a little card that just tells us everything in here, like what it's about and as well as some advertisements for some of their other boxes that are limited edition, best of beauty and holiday best of beauty, all amazing boxes. All right, so let's take a quick peek. I am really excited about this. It's the, okay, somebody told me how to pronounce it. It's like palm, like the palm of your hand, I think it was. Was that what it was? Palm. So palme or palm um, renewing hand serum. So hand products. So like Palm. I think that is so genius. I love the description. We will look at what it's looking like inside a little tube. Let's see. Go ahead and put a little bit on my hands now, actually. So this is more like a serum. So it does seem like a serum, like it's kind of um, a thin liquid. It smells very refreshing. Nice. That's going to be nice. And I even put some over my boo-boo here and it didn't sting. So nice. I like that. And I really think that is a great product for winter when our hands are just cracked and dry. We need some extra help. So happy to have this one. This is one of the ones I was excited about. And then we got the True Soft Argan Oil. And this is softening hair oil. So I'll be excited to try it too. I don't do a lot of hair oils, but I'm going to squirt some here instead, I guess. Yeah, so definitely like a pretty oil. Mmm. Oil base, but it smells really good. What is that smell? Does it tell us? Really nice smell. Like it's a little fruity and fresh. So, and this was from Maria Nyla or Nila. I really don't know that brand, but I will give it a shot. One of our big full-size items is the Grown Alchemist. Um, and this was the Hydra Restore Day Cream. Here's what it looks like too. So yeah, I have not done this one. Let's see how it smells if it's like super earthy. Oh, you gotta, you gotta actually um, open it like the cover of it with a knife or scissors or something. So I may hold off on that. I've done some grown al alchemists, but I have not done this one in particular. And then we have the Innisfree Defense, Daily UV Defense Mineral Sunscreen with Broad Spectrum SPF 45. Look how tiny that is. <laughs> I had no idea it was gonna be that tiny. So, you know, we get guaranteed three full-size products in the Allure box. And then the rest can be full or deluxe or something. So this is obviously a deluxe. It's so small. It's like tiny. like. <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah. So the Daily UV Defense Mineral Sunscreen. Um, we keep getting sunscreen in our beauty boxes in the winter months here. But I guess we need our sunscreen year round, right? All right. And then we have this Sephora Vitamin C and E Super Glow Serum. This one's pretty tiny also. And let's see what it's like. Oh, I already dropped some. So, drop some right there on my tat. Yeah, that feels nice too. And it has a great scent. Like, all of these are very fresh and almost fruity. But, like, this one's maybe more citrusy is what I'm thinking. But this is a tiny little <laughs> I feel like this looks a lot like the Macy's Beauty Box right now because they do more like sample sizes. Um, this looks more like a sample size to me than Deluxe. 
And then the last thing, definitely one of the ones I was most excited about, the Tarte Maracucha Juicy Lip Cream. Okay, lip cream. Okay, did we talk about that? Um, that was our choice product. And I picked Peachy Pink. Now, I'm, I'm probably one of the few that didn't go with like the bolder Christmas color ones. Like there was a cranberry, there was a peppermint. I ended up going with a little bit more of a peachy one and only because it's just a shade I don't have right now. Or I have a little bit in other brands, but um, I wanted something a little more warm toned that I would be wearing like for every day. Um, and of course I'm wearing lipstick right now, but I'll swatch this a little bit for you at least. And I, it just feels amazing, amazing, amazing on the skin. I could probably pop some on my lips real quick on top of what I'm wearing. Mm. Now I had on the pink underneath it, but it feels so good. I love the Maracucha um, lip balms and lip creams. This is the juicy though. So I was, like I said, probably the oddball that I got the more wearable, lighter color one. I know that those Christmas or holiday theme ones were definitely the popular ones to get, but I actually have um, an order of several of their holiday shimmering ones coming in my Tarte haul because I hit the Tarte sale that was really good. So I knew that I'm gonna have like some of those colors in the other lippies. So I went with the more wearable for me, like everyday color on this one. So that is everything in the Allure box for December. Um, I'm assuming you guys are getting yours. I've heard from a couple of y'all that you've gotten it already. And I was like, where is mine? Um, looks like I guess we've only got one thing in makeup, so. So yeah, let me know what you think. Um, hopefully you are enjoying your box and definitely stick around because um, I cover the spoilers for Allure also. And I cover the spoilers and, you know, reviews and try-ons, unboxings, all of that for a lot of different boxes. I found that the spoilers this last month for December, they dropped them right before the 25th. I think it was like the 23rd or the, or the 24th that we saw the spoilers and it was because of Thanksgiving. They went ahead and dropped them ahead of time before the holidays. I say this to let you know I'm going to be out of the country um, right after Christmas and beginning of January. So if they don't get the spoilers out before Christmas, I won't be able to bring you the spoilers until I get back from my trip with being out of the country. I'm probably not gonna have the chance to do spoilers in Costa Rica. <laughs> I'm gonna be zip lining down a waterfall, not thinking about Allure, sorry. <laughs> so hopefully though, they'll, they'll get us early again like they did this last month because obviously Christmas is the 25th and probably not a whole lot of people are gonna be at their office dropping spoilers, right? So. Um, I will bring the spoilers as soon as I have them, so stay tuned, but I can't guarantee that it will be in this year. It might be in 2025 that I bring them to you. I don't know, but if they do drop them before the 25th, I will try my best to get that up to you before I leave um, the country. <laughs> all right, so anyway, all of that to say, you'll want to pop that subscribe and turn the notification bells to on so that you don't miss it, um, both the spoilers for January and my unboxing in January if I love the January box. Just in case they don't get it out before the holidays and you're not watching any of my other videos, happy holidays to you guys. Hope you have a wonderful one and I will catch you guys on the next one. Bye!